spray sunscreen is super convenient to, to put on. Um, like Dr. Faustina said, you know, you want to look for an SPF of 30 or higher is, is really what we're looking for. And um, the goal is as you're spraying it that you're not letting it just go away in the wind. You want to keep that that can, that spray, that bottle as close to your skin as possible so that it is actually getting on the skin and, and not uh, in the environment. And you can also spray and kind of rub it into the, the skin whenever you use it. So that way you're making sure it's it's getting covered. And I'm, I'm sure we've all had those streaks where you, you realize you missed a spot and then the mm -hmm. spray didn't get there. Um, you can also put it on your face is okay too. And so to do that, you can either just close your eyes and, and spray on your face, or you can also just spray it into your hand and kind of rub rub it onto your onto your face and neck as well. Um, both both are equally as effective. You might find with the spray that because it is a, a liquid, uh, putting it on your eyelids, it can kind of get into the eyes a little bit easier than the lotion, and so just being being careful with that too. That's great to hear. I was afraid you were going to say that it's not effective because it is my preferred method. And for those of you who do wear makeup, sometimes what I like to do is spray the spray on my hand when I want to reapply and just mm -hmm. pat it into my face. And I do that a couple times to get the right amount of coverage. So that's another option for you who are looking to reapply the SPF 30 every two hours.